You've been selected to participate in the biggest reality show on the dark web. That's the setup of the new Hulu original movie, Self-Reliance, starring Jake Johnson and Anna Kendrick. A lonely guy is given the chance to participate in a life-changing game show. The only catch is to survive, he can never be alone. The new thriller comedy, Self-Reliance, written and directed by Jake Johnson, premieres January 12th, streaming only on Hulu. Start your wellness journey at Whole Foods Market, where it's jumpstart January through the 16th. Stock up on supplements with some of the year's biggest savings. Plus, save on air-chilled organic boneless skinless chicken breast, organic honey crisp apples, organic large Haas avocados, and more. And since Whole Foods Market is the only certified organic national grocer, it's easy to make them your wellness destination. Jumpstart your January now at Whole Foods Market. Warning, this product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. Warning, this product isn't made for everyone. This product is for those who don't settle. For limits, for trends, for the status quo. This product is long-lasting rogue nicotine pouches that never compromise on flavor. Warning, this product is reserved for rogues only. That you? Go rogue. Underage sale prohibited. For more information, visit roguenicotine.com. Is trust given or earned? Netflix's new competition series, The Trust, is the ultimate test of human nature. And you can trust that you're going to be obsessed. 11 strangers are offered a quarter million dollars and a choice to share the money equally or vote each other out to take more for themselves. Would you choose to split the money? Could you trust others to share? Find out if good is greater than greed. The Trust, a game of greed, is now streaming on Netflix. Second date update. For guys, when it comes to dating and actually meeting women, Mm -hmm. let's face it, we need all the help that we can get. Yeah. Because the apps can be very frustrating and slow. Oh. Going out to a bar armed with three horrible pickup lines is almost impossible. (laughs) Pickup lines is going to make it really hard. Yeah. You can stop those. Hey, with all these clowns around here, feels like we're at the circus, huh? Uh, Okay, you. Sup, I'm Drake. <laughs> so you totally kept going with it. Yeah. yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> See, clearly it didn't work in here either. But now it's there's terrible. a new dating trend that people are doing. And I've never heard about this before. What is it? But it's how one of our listeners met someone the other day. So let's talk to him about it. His name is Andre. Andre, welcome to the yeah. show. Hi. How you doing? Hi. Hey, Ringmaster. How What's you going doing? On? Oh, God. All of good, you. Good, good. <laughs> What? Stop. Where did, I want to know where you learned this dating trick or hack or whatever it is from. Apparently, it's a different, like, dating activity that people are doing. It is. It's kind of like speed dating meets Tinder, basically. Oh, it's like an event that you went to to meet someone? I'm yeah. sorry. It's put together. Okay. Oh. Like a restaurant oh. hosts the event. Well, yeah. Speed dating isn't new, okay. but... Yeah. What makes this different oh. than normal speed dating? It's like with a twist? Well, first of all, you have a set, like, meet time, but the ladies arrive first. And they, uh, none of them are alone. They, you know, they're groups of friends. Good. And okay. And they order, like, drinks or something to eat. Oh, you like this because you don't have to pay for them. Is yeah. that what it is? <laughs> well, actually, no, no, no. The way it works is when you guys come in, maybe about half an hour to 45 minutes later. Okay. Right. And uh, you get to, you know, walk around and say hi. To, but if you sit down, you actually end up paying for the meal. The for guys now. have to pay for the things that the girls order? Wait, right. and there's multiple women at the table? Do we get fed? Mm-hmm. This sounds expensive, Wait. man. Yeah, this sounds great oh. if you're a girl. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. So you just do a girl's night oh, out yeah. and Dude. talk to one guy so he pays? I'm sorry. This <laughs> sounds amazing to me, too. I would annoy everyone with my food knowledge. Oh. Keep all the food coming. But then you have to pay for everything that they order. So how yeah, many... but at least I got attention from a girl for once. <laughs> kind of, yeah, that's kind of like a, a blind. Uh, you're going in blind on that one. But yeah. myself, a couple of friends of mine decided we were going to do this just for a fun evening. You figure if you're splitting the bill three ways, how bad could it be, you know? Okay. Sure. So you would okay. all go to the same table to meet like three yeah we, we okay. were hanging out with, i'm hanging out with my friends you're hanging out with your friends let's see how it works okay, okay. Mm. so who'd you meet uh, i met a lovely young lady named becca, and, becca. Uh, did you get a weird feeling when he said lovely young lady yep. too yes okay. it's a weird way to describe <laughs> yeah. someone yeah like, okay let's try it again you met a really hot girl yeah. named becca yeah i met a really hot girl named becca there, ah, it, is. there it is <laughs> okay that's funny tell and, us about her yeah how did you guys connect uh, well, I actually asked her if she was just here for the food, and she said it depends on the guy. So we just started flirting back and forth. Oh, 
Okay. You know what? And that's such an honest answer because yeah. it's like, yeah, I kind of am. But if a cute guy that hits it off is yeah. meets me, then of course mm-hmm. I'm into it. So mm-hmm. How that's long actually- do you guys spend together? Like, do you do the whole meal together? The meal, the meal. Well, they had something to eat before we got there. You have the option to eat if you want, but you know, you don't want to eat in front of somebody if they're not eating. That's, oh, that's okay. I just, had a, I just had a couple of drinks. Uh, my, my, one of my friends got an appetizer. You know, we were just basically talking. It just sounds okay. like all the guys have to eat first. So how long did you spend with Becca? The speed dating thing goes for about another 45 minutes, but she had someplace else to be. So she ended up leaving maybe about like a half an hour, and so there was still like 15 minutes left. Oh. My guys weren't leaving, and I didn't get a chance to ask her for her contact information. So I asked one of her friends, and her, her friend was nice enough to give me her contact information. So ended up texting her later that evening. Oh. oh. Wait, okay. Did you guys go out again, or is that what we're calling on, this experience? Well, on text, we agreed to like meet up again. Okay. But then we kind of like left it at that. And here's where I, I think I kind of went, maybe went wrong. Maybe it came in a little too strong. Was that I uh, I texted her like between 14 and 17 times. Oh, oh man. Uh, Only 17 times? <laughs> no, no, okay. Okay. They weren't all about the date. Some of them were just like a couple of funny memes. You know. Was there a response from her in between all these 17 texts or was it just your bubbles? I still haven't heard from her. Oh, oh no. no. Okay. It'd be one thing if there was like one yeah. or two responses. What are we confused? Yeah, no. Are you sure it's the right number? Because you said that the friend gave it to you. Yes, it's the right number because we texted back and forth. And once we agreed to meet up, <laughs> that's when she stopped. Nice yeah. try, Jeff. Uh, I like this. Yeah. <laughs> it was hopeful. <laughs> yeah. Was I'm hoping that. Yeah. yeah. Maybe she's working some extra side jobs trying to save up enough money to pay for his next meal. Uh, that way it's yeah. evened out because he already paid for hers. Huge. Well, I think they said he just had drinks and maybe an appetizer. Well, how much so. did you spend on, on her meal that day? Oh, yeah, we Andre? never found out. Between my, me and my friends, we only ended up spending like two hundred and seventy-five. Two seventy-five dollars each? each, or you split no, no, that no. three ways. Total. Okay. Two seventy-five split three ways. Okay. okay. All right, like a hundred bucks a person. That's all right. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. But it makes yeah, but sense. Why would a group of girls hold back if you're not? I know. Yeah. I mean, and it's not like yeah. fancy restaurants are the ones hosting these type of things. No, and that's two hundred seventy-five dollars worth of food in a half hour. That's like power eating. Yeah, but I you signed up for it, so yeah, yeah. I like yeah. that okay. girl. Alexis does not feel bad for you why whatsoever. Would why Andre? would? Yeah, yeah, he came yeah. in knowing exactly what he was going to get. Why would there be any pity there? Just because he's a listener to our show and we're supposed to act like we're on their side. Yeah. Well, I am on his side, <laughs> but he doesn't seem upset about the bill, Jeff. No. No, I'm not upset at all. I mean, when you think about it, you get right to the point because you're actually making a physical in-person connection. You know, yeah. I mean? so I'm not spending the money. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I think it's great. Yeah. A good right. ribeye is like $70 at a steakhouse. Okay, we could Come still on. stop going down the menu. I mean, yeah. they ate a lot, you know? How many ounces There's was some the hungry steak? girls. I like that, <laughs> all right? All right. Yeah, well, listen, there were a lot of high-end, there were a couple of high-end cocktails on there. There we go. All right. Okay, Sweet. all right. Okay, So well, it's not the money. At least yeah. we know that. He, yeah. He's well, happy to have met her. Good. All right, well, hopefully we can get her on the phone one more time and convince her to meet up with you again you sound yes. lovely thank you mm-hmm. it's not creepy when brooks says lovely oh, to yeah, someone right. else though <laughs> only when he says it we're not going to use that word at all when we call her come back and try and get you your second date yeah. update right after this all right okay. second date update you know what's funny about the number 17 is that it's actually my lucky number Oh, you guys are going to argue. I was born on the 17th. Yeah, but Brooke's favorite okay. number is oh. also 17. Well, she only changed it to that because she found out it was my favorite <laughs> number. Is that the story? 17 I mean... is also the number of <laughs> muscles that are in the human tongue. I didn't know Jose, that. Jose, do you want to demonstrate for everyone? No, 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 I, I hate that. There was an 18th one in there, I think. <laughs> Don't oh, ruin my number, <laughs> Jose. And, and curiously, 17 is also the number of times that our listener, Andre, has texted a woman named Becca with no response from her after they met at a Tinder speed dating event. God, it is really looking more unlucky and unlucky as it goes on. Well, everybody's <laughs> you know? saying 17 texts without an answer is a bad sign. But here's the thing. I've gone hundreds of texts and emails without answering people. Mm. Even higher ups at our own company who are asking hey. me to fill up my time card so I could quote get paid. Yeah. Ha! Not falling for that one, management. Yeah, you haven't gotten a paycheck in three years, have yeah. you? I mean, I signed a contract. What Show else do them. I have to do? Yeah. Yeah, but you're also supposed to check your bank account. Okay. Jeff, I'm sure literally on there. the air. What more do okay. they want me to do here? <laughs> Got to go fill out a timesheet too? Yeah. It's ridiculous. I'm at work. Pay me. But yeah. we're gonna see what Becca's reason is if she answers the phone for why she's not texting you Uh-oh. back. Okay, Andre. Yes. 
and I really need you guys to go to bat for me on this one, okay? Okay. I, have okay. Okay. Answers. I mean, what do you think is key to success here? Do you have any ideas for us? Like, what does she like about you? Do you know? I, I'm not sure. Okay. Um, okay. I'm just hoping at some point that maybe she lost service and didn't see all of them. All right. Well, that's they send, that's I think that's a pretty yeah. good indicator. Yeah. 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 Right. <laughs> that's true. All right. But lucky number 17 is the one thing that I'm going to stick on to today. So... Here okay, we go. Be ready. I'm You're gonna, gonna really emphasize her his 17 <laughs> yeah, unanswered texts. I would go with not. Yeah, uh, actually. Yeah. Don't bring that up. Okay, so we're starting with officially nothing as we dial her number. Yes. <laughs> Best of luck to everybody. Here we go. <laughs> That's it. Hello. Hey, we're looking for Becca. Uh. No, 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 Becca here. Um, who oh. is this? Oh, Do we number. have the wrong number? Sorry. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, yeah. Uh, We're a radio show called Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. Um, you're not Becca? Uh, okay. uh, no. Oh, my God. That's why the um, text. Have, have you been getting so many weird texts from? I don't understand. We got a phone number here from a guy named Andre who says he met Becca the other night at a speed dating event. He got this number from her friend, and he's been texting back and forth at this number. Oh, I guess he did say Becca did yeah, text, you guys or he. Yeah. Um, Someone agreed to go uh, out with him. Yeah, um, I am so sorry. Uh, so wait, okay, you, it's not your fault. Wait, do you, you know are Becca, and you're pretending not to be. Uh, uh, no, I. Huh. I am Kayla. I'm I'm Becca's friend. I'm the one oh. who gave Andre the number. Oh. Oh, you gave him your number. You gave him your number by accident. What? Uh, no, I mean. I wouldn't say by accident. Yeah. You okay. like him. So you liked yeah. Andre. I thought he was really cute, and so oh, I gave him my number. That's messed oh. up. Oh, my God. Wait, why didn't you tell him that it was you instead of Becca? Why wouldn't you just say to him, well, I'm not going to give you my friend's number, but I'll give you mine? Um, well, I was, I, at first I was just, like, upset that he wasn't asking for my number, that he asked for her number. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. And, oh, my God, it sounds so stupid now thinking back, but that's, like, why I haven't been texting him is because oh. I was, I just felt so guilty because, like, we'd made plans, oh, and I know that it went too far. He oh my God, this texting Becca. Dude, this so makes sense. Like, when he was telling us about this dating event where it's, like, you bring in some of your friends, and then you mm. meet some other girlfriends, like... This has got to happen all the time. Where, oh. like, yeah, maybe well, not the right people liking each it's other. It's not a one-on-one. -on -one. I'm yeah, not yeah, sure I, I understand what your plan was yeah, here. No, I, don't I don't think, think she understood. That's yeah. why she's not texting back. You, you gave him yeah. your phone number and said it was Becca's number. In hopes that they could they... They'd fall in love over text? I, I didn't really have the best of plan i'll be okay. honest but i yeah. thought maybe if they made a plan and then he hadn't heard from her in a while and then you know reached back out and then i showed up and was like oh my god you know i'm so sorry like becca was had oh. a flake and i was oh. i didn't want you to be so you did have a plan. that's a very elaborate plan oh. <laughs> yeah, you... wait a minute <laughs> a you were well going thought to... out plan and then i thought like maybe if we were alone just one on one and like talking that he would See just like how wonderful it was. Mm -hmm. Oh man! So she okay. was gonna have Becca ghost him so that she could swoop in and come to the rescue. Ah, uh, trick him like, into yeah. liking you, uh, and then be well, like, "I'm better. You should just take down my number. It's the same number." Yeah, I didn't think about when I finally gave him my number and it being the same number. How that yeah. would go? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Does your friend Becca know you're doing this? Uh, no, no, no. Uh oh. She has no oh, idea. Oh, God. Oh. Tuesday phone call time? Yeah. Well, does Yikes. she even like him? Yeah, this she likes That's a good question. I mean, Becca's talking to a lot of guys right now, and so mm -hmm. he would just be like one of many for her. Okay. For me, okay. he would just be one. Okay. Sure. Oh, my God. Cute. Your voice has been so high this entire time. Yeah. <laughs> just, All right. Well, that's yeah. definitely an awkward move. You, yeah. You've been kind of trying to trick him into liking you. <laughs> Trick. Well, <laughs> I like, Trick, I like that attitude. Out Trick him into hanging out with her. We've kind of <laughs> tricked you, but not really, because we See? need to tell you that. I'm not alone. Well, you didn't I'm know this, alone. but no, Andre you know is not. on the other line right now listening to this conversation. <laughs> oh. He wanted, that's... yeah. You're not alone. <clears throat> oh. Are you okay? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Andre. Yeah. Andre, are you there? I'm. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm a little woody. I'm, I'm uh, here. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm here. Uh. Do you remember Kayla, Andre? Do you remember meeting Kayla? 
Please, I've, God, uh, say yes, even if you don't. Yeah, you do. The one who gave me <laughs> the number. Say, oh, sweet I mean, girl. I, I, I remember we, we really didn't really didn't talk much. Um, but we did I'm, talk. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just a little... I'm, I'm sorry. I'm a little chapped at the moment. Okay. You're both flustered right now. I and love there's it. a lot of information that's all yeah. coming out at once. But now, Andre, you know that Becca's friend Kayla was kind of into you that night. How that does that make of. you feel? Yeah. I, I, I don't, I don't know like how I feel like right now. It's just a little overwhelming. Like it's okay. not. A, so you never gave her my number. Uh, no, I mean, like I said, she was talking to, like, multiple guys. Like, we were really there more for me that night. Like, she mm. she was kind of coming support. as, like, support. Ah. Uh, okay. so and free drinks. Even but. if you did get Becca's number, bro, she probably would have just pushed you towards Kayla's direction anyway as a good friend. Yeah, that's so, a good point, Jose. Or, or do you like the challenge of beating out all those other guys who are into Becca? Don't do that. Don't push it towards Becca, <laughs> no, Jeffrey. Well, yeah, I'm just saying, I I'm going to off... go out with Kayla. I mean, they're, yeah. they're like the same energy. He's a guy who will text 17 times with no response. Yeah. <laughs> She's a woman who will pretend to be someone else Sorry in order to, to get it. Sort of feel bad. Yeah. 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 I feel like they're the... It's like totally dysfunctional, but for some reason it works. Yeah. It's a good match. Yeah. Opposites attract. Andre, how do you feel about that? Uh, I mean, that, that sounds, I don't know, that sounds really good for like a, a movie. I don't know, like, <laughs> real life. life but yeah. What if life could be a movie, Andre? Wow. wow. That, that's what they you? say. Sometimes, like, the most obvious, amazing thing is right in front of you, and you didn't see it, giving yeah. you a fake phone number I mean, and not texting you back after 17 messages. On. I love that quote, Jeff. I love when people say that. Yeah. <laughs> it is so beautiful. And so, normally, we would ask, I mean, this is a little bit of a different situation. In light of the new information, I think first we need to ask Andre... Because when you called us, you wanted to go out with Becca. But instead, maybe would it be cool if we sent you out with Becca's friend, Kayla? Yeah, Kayla, uh, tell him why. Come on, Kayla. I, I mean... Well, hold on. I'm asking first. We got to ask Andre if he's cool with that. Yeah. And it's, 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 <laughs> it's weird. It's um, weird. More I mean, I... weird than contacting the radio station to contact oh, the girl for you? Oh, fair game. See, that's the whole thing. It's weird all around. Yeah, but what's bad about it? Like, honestly, like, what could you lose trying one date with Kayla? I mean, she doesn't seem, like, crazy or anything like that. No, Bro, nobody he here sent 17 like... texts. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's messed up. That's, that's, that's maybe a little over-enthusiastic. I wouldn't call that crazy. Maybe. <laughs> right. Some and, yeah, memes. she's just overly enthusiastic to get to know you. We're running low on time here, Andre. What do you think? One date with Kayla. Give it a shot. I mean, I... How, somebody went through this much effort. How could I say no? I guess. Yeah. Yes. Yes. No, how yes. could he say no? Yeah. There you go, Kayla. <laughs> I love it. She <laughs> loves it. Yeah. I was all she needed. <laughs> all right. Well, congratulations. You two are going to meet up for your first official date. Wow. Oh, thanks, yeah. guys. Yeah, you may want to send Becca a thank you text. Yeah, you know? she'll probably ghost you. <laughs> I, think, I think we've done enough texting. I think we'll just oh. yeah. <laughs> call. Only Good in call. person chats from now on. <laughs> Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. Is anybody else thinking it's kind of strange that this girl basically catfished a guy, mm -hmm. lied and planned to trick him, and we're all encouraging this type of behavior? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I I'm like just her. asking. I guess. She went the extra mile for sure. Mm -hmm. I mean, she, did, she felt saying. bad about it. Yeah. So I think that was her saving grace. It's not like she came on being like, I tricked him. They she should felt change bad. the TV show Catfish to going the extra mile. You know. Yeah. Right? Because that's a better way to put it. That really is. But I, gotta, I, like, I feel for her, I think, because I also have hot girlfriends that mm -hmm. people always wanted their number and never wanted mine. Mm -hmm. So I, maybe you got to do what you got to do. Maybe it's <laughs> sympathy. Yeah, sure. you know? <laughs> I just I want to try to be responsible when we do these and encourage our listeners to maybe not pretend to be other people to yeah, trick them into that. loving you. Uh, boring. I don't know if it's your friend. Is that okay though? Okay, yeah, you know that what? sounds boring. You're right. Forget it. Screw <laughs> it. Lie, cheat, steal. As long yeah. as you get what you want, yeah. then who cares, right? Dude, that's All true right. love, Jeff. All right. Yeah. I'm a supermodel. Okay. Get with the time. We're willing to break <laughs> laws and screw people over to get you on a date. Don't okay. believe us? Email the show. <laughs> We will do whatever it takes to get that person on a date with you. Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. No one likes to talk about money. Am I saving enough? Can I buy a house? Am I paying too much in taxes? Will I be able to retire? What if you could unlock insights about your finances in less than five minutes with a clear picture of where you stand today and where your money can work harder? Now you can. Visit facet.com to take the free quiz and get your financial wellness score today.
That's F-A-C-E-T dot com. This ad is sponsored by Facet. Facet Wealth Incorporated is an SEC registered investment advisor. This is not an offer to buy or sell securities, nor is it investment, legal, or tax advice. Reveal your true skin everywhere you touch and can feel. Deserves the soothing nourishment of Amlactin. Amlactin? Amlactin. Harness the power of lactic acid to gently exfoliate and uncover your true skin better than ever. The number one dermatologist recommended moisturizer brand with lactic acid. Skin care no longer stops at the neck. Moisturize and revitalize. Analyze your whole body with clinical skincare from Amlectin. From daily formulas to intensive healing for your personal skincare needs. Shop the full line of Amlectin at Target. You want to hear about Aileen A? Listen to this. This is what it sounds like to stay and play at Aileen A. And with our new luxury hotel featuring an indoor-outdoor pool, dining with incredible views, and more... It sounds even better. This is what it sounds like at the area's premier dining, gaming, and entertainment destination. A A. Sounds like fun. Book your stay now at ilaniresort.com. Every January at Closet Factory, we turn National Organization Day into National Organization Month. Because one day of organization is about as useful as one day of exercise. But a month is ample time to get together with your personal designer and completely reimagine a space in your home. And day by more organized day, a little more time, space, and peace in your life. All National Organization January at Closet Factory. 